do. If we think we don't need him. In Army Medical Corps. We loaf around the aid post on the sandbags in the sun. Jesus Christ never came to condemn humanity. We have entrusted our fallen comrade to God's mercy. And now we commit his body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Five months ago today, absolutely nothing. We got a letter on the 10th of uh, December telling us that they'd found this person and it might be our relative. And I thought, no, I can't be true. I'm sure we haven't got a relative that, you know, checked and we found out about him, cousin, you know, and, and it went from there. So five months ago, nothing. And we've just gradually learned, you know, uh, what his job was, what the family were. Uh, and it's, yeah, so it's gone from there, and in five months we've learnt so much. Justice and peace. We come to pray for all who in bereavement... I feel privileged. Yeah. I, I think, think we so. feel privileged. That, uh, and in a way, it's not just for us. I've said many a time the last few days. Yeah, it's symbolic of everybody who lost somebody in the war, who didn't come home. So I don't think, although this is, it is overwhelming for us, I'm glad he's had the dignity. And, of a, of a funeral now with all the marvellous support, but we do feel it's for everybody yeah, who, who has lost somebody and haven't got a final resting yeah, place yeah. for them. So yeah. we very much want to feel yeah, that yeah. we'd like to say that it's not just for us and our family, it's for everybody who can't have this opportunity that we've got. The Collect of the Royal Army Medical Corps. Um. We knew he was a soldier of the RMC. Uh, we knew where he'd been recovered and his boots that he was wearing were stamped 1917. So we knew he must have died in that year or afterwards. So I looked through all of the missing soldiers of the RMC who are still missing in Belgium um, and went through them one by one using the war diaries for each of their different units and pieced together a picture of where they might have been at the point in time when they went missing. And what I found from that was that the, there were three stretcher bearers of 140th Field Ambulance who'd all gone missing in Fusilier Wood in around that area on the 6th of August 1917. 